Good morning party people. It's been a hot minute since we vlogged. Also, look at my giant puppy dog, Caramel Polar Bear. That's what she's become. Say hi, Luna. <laughs> so we haven't really vlogged much lately. It's been a busy, busy month. Every weekend we've had back-to-back -back weddings. This guy got married. Uh, in the meantime, we've had a growing puppy. We've got some new additions to HQ, but um, but things are calming down now. So weekly vlogs are back. So the effort we're gonna try here is more just to film everything, to give you more of like an in-depth look into like what's going on in the lives of us going forward. But this morning, we're gonna show you a little behind the scenes while we um, create some like TikTok-y, really fun video. So let's go to the bathroom. I don't wanna go. You have to. <laughs> ah, welcome to the bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my beard. We're gonna head into a new training block pretty soon, to which for me is gonna be a lot more calories. So we'll be bulking up and we'll lose definition. So that's just something I should talk about really quickly. If you want to gain muscle, you have to gain fat in the process. That's the only way to gain. So I'm looking to bulk up during our winter here in Australia. So while that happens, I will lose a bit of definition. Abs will go, jawline will go a little bit. But until that happens, I want to make the rest of my jawline. So, we're going to get rid of my beard. Um, so, we're going to try and do like a fun little transition now of like beard to no beard. Set up on the tripod. Setting up some lighting right now. Fingers crossed it'll look fun. See? Fun. All right, let's get the ocean. My new face is going to take some time to get used to. I'm used to having like a soft jawline and stubble is prickly. It feels quite nice to be honest. I need a tan. All the summer I had a beard. I've had a beard for the past year, so uh, my jaw needs some sunshine on it. Hence why we're gonna go try and get in the ocean. Hopefully there's some waves. We can ride our surfed craft and uh, then head home. I got a new piece of equipment arrive, which is like a calisthenics based home gym. Very keen to check that out. Um, if it's good, I'll definitely recommend it to you guys. But anyway, we're at the beach now. Ah, we surfed. Luna's now wet from my wetsuit. Uh, look at this sunshine. Am I glowing? You are glowing. <laughs> Just need to turn that ISO down. Um, so we're gonna go train now. That's all. Legs? Legs. Legs. Leg go. Leg. But before we go to the gym, I got a package. And I think I know what it is. So we're gonna open up and have a look. It's like an unboxing of sorts. It's exactly an unboxing. I'm pretty bad at unboxing. Not my Nathan. So the very first pair of Nikes I ever got myself was a pair of MX ones. Um, so that's what I've got here. I went through on the Nike ID and made myself a pair of black. They're really small, but they're not uh, MX ones. We have a fair number on the back. Yeah. 57. So they're gonna be fun to train. They look really small. But actually, I mean, US 8. But that's really small. I wonder if they are women's. They weren't, they were men's, but I wanted those semi women's shoes. Yeah, that's a 100% women's shoe. I'm kind of putting that. That's so annoying. They turned out so good, too. Update. Yeah, that's what happened to that. Uh, they sent me women's shoes. So they were actually a men's custom order, but they've made them in women's sizes. So sending me a US eight women's, which is like a six and a half men's. So I can't get my foot into that. <sighs> Let's go train. Caffeine and carbs. I've gone with the sour frogs alive. Um, I don't know if these are available anywhere else in the world, but in Australia, Red frogs are like a classic. And they're delicious. And grenade energy, because, you know, gotta do it. It's available in the UK. It'll be available in Australia very soon. America, I'm so sorry, but you have to wait for this bad boy. Talk to your government and get your laws changed so we can get it imported. That'd be great. 
All right, hamstrings, glutes, a little bit of quads. It's leg day, y'all. Three weeks later. So we're gonna do supersets. They are quite sour, aren't they? There's like an so after sour. Super sour. <laughs> so sour. The most alive in my mouth right now. Uh, we're gonna superset. Oh, we have to speed through all this. We're gonna superset this. So it's gonna be back to back exercises all the way through. High intensity, high volume, getting them hamstrings puffing. Let's go. <laughs> So, the very first of our superset series compound with the RDLs and the trap bar. Oh my goodness. So, I'm doing eight reps of that straight into 16 reps on the hamstring curl, on the kind of leg extension hamstring curl machine here. So, compound movement straight into an accessory movement. Um, obviously, we're doing lower reps than that, eight reps straight into high reps on this, 16 reps by the end of that. Oh boy. Your turn. <laughs> We're done. My calves are done. That was a surprisingly brutal session. So it's much later in the day than we normally train. Normally we train first thing in the morning, um, but this has been a later midday session. But I feel like when you are lacking energy motivation, doing supersets is a really great way of kind of getting in and getting it done quicker and harder. Um, rather than sort of like, okay, what do we do next? You kind of have back to back, so you don't really have as much break. The intensity is high and the workout is rough. So as we did there, we did the RDLs straight into hamstring curls. We did good mornings into leg press. I couldn't think of the word then. Then we did glute bridge into uh, hip thrust, single leg hip thrust. No, other way, hip thrust straight into glute bridge, single leg glute bridge, and then calves. And then obviously did the- uh, I didn't get that. Oh, shut up Siri. Uh, I've lost my mind here. I'm done. Hyper. hyper. Reverse hyper extension. I'll see you guys after. Psst. Later. Hey! I'm building. I'm building a thing. As I said I would. Uh, so we've trained. And now we're going to build this little thing at home. It looks like it's fairly portable. And small. So we're gonna build it just right here so I can get like white wall, nice clean content if I use it in videos. Um, Luna's investigating, what do you think? Is that a good spot for her? She said yes. Let's do it. Welcome back. We're built. This is an awesome little piece of at home kit for the gym. So most places are out of lockdown now, but I absolutely think it's a great idea to have something like this at home. The really cool thing with this 
I don't have the brand. I'll put the brand up there for you. It just says fit, but I'll figure out what the brand is for this so you can actually get a hold of it. Um, the cool thing about this is the fact that it's a very steady, stable piece of equipment here. So super easy to pack up and pack down. Everything's like, it's gonna see here, like buttons to plug and unplug everything. So you can pull the parts super quick, but it also locks in so it's stable. It doesn't take up much room. And it means you can fully get like all like the chin-up stuff, you got dips, you got these other handles here, push-up variations so they can rotate around depending on the angle you want to do it at. It's gonna mean you can get a really good full body workout on here. It comes with bands as well, which I haven't actually unpacked yet, as well as another bar. So it's got these lever points at the bottom to actually attach the bar, and you can use the standing on here and use the cables slash bands with that, it's a really great idea. Anyway, that's set up now. I'm now gonna look at the other bit here, which it also comes with like a storage board here. So I'm gonna go through and screw on the little clips. So when I pull this apart, it can also just store flatly on the wall away. But um, yeah, it came in one big box. It was not that heavy. The base plate has a little bit of weight in it, obviously, because you've got the metal to keep hold, but it was easy enough for me to lift with one arm, so it's not that heavy. I mean, I'm pretty strong though. Anyway, that's that. Bye. Are you talking to the camera? Were you talking to the camera?